What's up, guys? Welcome back to the new series on Tuesday, Dragon Quest Builders 2. Alright. You are loud. I can't talk while that's in the background. Alright, so yeah, I've already beaten the game already because we streamed it a long time ago. So, but, um, uh, one of my subscribers wanted me to play either this or Mafia. And I know how much she loves this, so I figured I would just do this as a thank you to her, because she's helped me out quite a lot. Um, so, um, we are going to be playing a Let's Play of this on Tuesday, every every Tuesday. Um, because of the fact that uh, Baldur's Gate, we are going to push um, until probably War Wasteland 3 is finished. Uh, because of how buggy the game is, and the fact that it isn't getting really patched very well, and the fact no one really cares for it, I'm just going to push it off to the side of the moment. Um, and then we'll just play this every Tuesday. So, let's get started! We're going to be a male character. Let's be... Luffy! Oh no, 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 no. No, no. We're going to be... All right, we need to make sure our hair is blue. Our skin, good. Too bad we can't make blue skin. And purple eyes. Yes, I know, create a name. And we're going to be Stitch. S-T-I-P-E-H. Yes, we're going to be happy with Stitch. All right. And you can now adjust the game settings. Once you're happy, confirm. Blah, blah. Uh, the water turns very high. See water through glass. Auto adjust. Binoculars. Plant growth. And all the pre-order bonuses. Yep, we defeated him in the first game. Dragon Quest Builders 2. I am the hero that saved the world, apparently.
<clears throat> okay, I'll meet you on the deck. Oh, let's make sure we sleep to heal our bruises. There we go. Try to remember how to zoom out. Last meal you ever had. <laughs> Alright. Come on. There is a lot of talking in this game. Break the driftwood.
I'm a master builder, buddy. By smashing things up, just really be careful that what you bash doesn't bash you back. <clears throat> all right, you're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of the cell, you've been scurrying about the deck, pattering with the crew without a care in the world. And if anything, I'd wager you were actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your f dopey mush? Face the same fate. Most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you? Hmm. It seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be greeting on with. For starters, some of the boys on the deck have got jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you are sorting them out. Yeah, we'll do a little talking because if not, this is going to be a very, very boring thing to watch. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing all that wood you could find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all of our navigation lights overboard. But such things can only be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. Do you see the worn-out bent workbench over there? Use it to make five torches. Here, I'll believe you will need this oil to craft them. Wait a minute. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in the proper positions. The five blocks with the, the five black blocks will be your sign. There is one on the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. Do not fail me, builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Return to me when you have finished the task. Yay! Put the torch. Put the torch. 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 It seems you have done exactly as I've asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For a ship as such as ours, they could do with with being a touch more sinister, if you do say so myself. But I shan't complain. The deck is humiliated once more. I must say, your propensity, propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters, you will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard this ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Well, but isn't the so-called builder. Anyone think you own that place? The way you're strutting around this deck with what's, what's with that attitude. You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders? And you want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this god for nothing ship. As long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Or you, fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill him, eh? Kiki kiki. Alright, better put them dukes up. I warn you, though, that skeleton soldier is a proper head case. Come find me after the fight's finished, if you still work. Whoa, one first place. Guild is defeated. I punched it three times. Well, you're a better boxer than you look. I'll give you that. Still, the only thing loose? Those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. Doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Luckily, you don't have a future to speak of at all. <laughs> all right, be off with you. Go and tell the bosun what a weakling you are. 
Kick, kick, kick. You fight like a cow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him with smithereens if you had a weapon? Kiki, a likely story. You're going to bash him upside the skull with one of them torches. You're such a whiz at whipping up. Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's with that book you got there? I'm going to make something. Da -da -da. New idea. Cypress stick. I got a stick. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me, what's so funny? You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? I don't know why this skeleton has a southern accent. Just go with it. <laughs> well, don't just stand there looking around, Gormless. Put your mo money where your mouth is and make this cypress stick then. You know where that workstation is, right? And one more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. A weapon's no use otherwise. Got a little southern hospitality. Equip it. The bold genius returns. Cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say? Fancy another crack at that old bag of bones now that you got a weapon? Yeah. Kick, kick, kick. That's the spear. I want to watch that router try to put himself back together once you're through with him. Meow, 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 meow. And he bone. Ooh, compound pressure. Ooh, got bone crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on then. Land go and brag about beat me to him to the bone some. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at that state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him? Kick, 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 kick. That's a new one. I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I haven't think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet. Not by a long shot. I got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs your helping hand. My, my, you have been a busy little boy, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? No. At last not. Other than that simple cypress stick, you haven't have a single tool upon your person. Such a shame. Well, I think we ought to do something about that, haven't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the bridge below decks. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be able capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects without the need of to smash them first. Ideal for organizing your articles in an ordinary fashion. So without further ado, take your newfound gloves, gather up all the barrels thrown hangingly and higgly-piggly about the deck and place them on the map beside me. We got gloves! Do, 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 do. Need to acquire. Pick stuff up and plunk it. <sighs> Yoink. 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 Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I am sure you'll agree to that pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any builder's... any budding builder. 
I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a sworn off work shy rascals. But based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder, the external enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will, us will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. It would appear you have attended to everyone's errands from now. Hurry up along and inform the good captain that you require some more back-breaking chores. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked you for you. Nice to see a human working with his fingers to the bone for us monsters. And without a word of complaint, either. If you doubted it before, I'm certainly now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Still, I wouldn't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth. So to speak. So to speak. Do you enjoy, do you enjoy building things? Yes, sir. Ooh. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the morning. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've got all the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. Well, there you go, guys. The game's ended. We can't... We're, we're gonna die here. Well, with... What with you building, builders being our mortal enemies and everything, can't exactly have you running about a stern building like Billy O now, can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. Uh, <laughs> just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop y'all noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you, I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin boy. And what's more, I like that cut of your jib. What do you say, laddie? Will you join my skeleton crew? You don't have to say anything. I can tell you're too overwhelmed with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else that I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? I've never seen anything like it before. Oh. Huh? Where did this rain come from? Whoa, you'll have to tell me later. Laddie, looks like there's another storm rolling in. All hands on deck. Ah, oh, an apprentice builder. You will do nicely. You will do nicely. This is your world to create and yours to destroy. Now, come to me, my child. Oi, cloth ears. What are you gecking at? Don't you hear? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks and into the hold. Far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. Lammy, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. You all right there, builder? Ah, but I can't stop. Can't be stopping to help some human. Got to get to the hold. Oh, come on. Argon, preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, builder, get your bony backside in here. Bronto, I need your help. Come on, get your bony butt up. Over here, Builder! What took you so long, eh? I got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef, and a rock's gone clean through the hull. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to Davy Jones' locker. I don't know if this will work, but try cramming a crate into that hole. Got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them. 
Yo. Ba -ba -boom. That was a close shave than I've ever liked. But you did it. We're say you saved my Oh, throw me a bone, not more holes. Ah, we're taking out more water. You gotta do something. Use more crates and plug up those holes. You're a lightsaber builder, or no, I owe you one. But I run in with that rock has made mincemeat of my hull. The next wave that hits us could... Boom! Oh. Why? Well, I knew it! It's a race against time, builder. Cram some more crates in those holes. Hurry and hurry it. Destroy any wood... Shored up my ship good and proper. Builder, I don't know where we would be without you. So will hold for now, but who knows how much long... Boom! Oh, throw me a bone, we're done for. Hoi! Holy moly, look at that one. We don't have any crates big enough to plug up that hole that size. This is it, Builder. It was nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Builder! <laughs> and there we are. Square Enix. And here's the intro. Nice. I was actually able to get the first part done within 30 minutes. General Director Yuji Hori. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. You. Character design, Akira Toriyama. The designer of Dragon Ball Z. Music composer, Koichi. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Such a great game. It's been a while since I played it, so I'm actually looking forward to doing a let's play of this. <clears throat> let's kick some butt. Saving and looting, saving and looting, saving and looting, saving and looting. Oh. Alright guys. We will call 
the first episode right here. And we'll pick back up right up. We'll pick right up. So stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2.